See your girl, me like you. Me know what me happy for you when we ignite you. Make some girl run up them out, them now feel like you. Them want to be like you. Miss Universe. Yo, people, you welcome back to the fix. Brought to you by Nightly Fix. The fix comes to you courtesy of A Bar Restaurant and Lounge. A Bar more than just a bar. It's your boy Nara here with Ari. Big up Jim Brown at the building. Big up Anarch Productions with their people. Right now, we're joined by Royalty. Just in case you didn't pick up from the, the several times played Get song. Up, yes. <laughs> Miss Universe Jamaica hey, in the building. The beautiful Davina Benich is here. Hello, hello. <laughs> well, thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Narrow. <laughs> no, I'm just going to take He's like you, vaccinated. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's talk about it. So it's been what now? Three weeks into three, four weeks. Yes, three interior. weeks. Yes. Yeah. How's it been going so far? It has been. It has been going good. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a lot of work. I can say. Really? Like yes. what? 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 What's the work like right now? Uh, the interviews, the meetings, gym time, preparation. You know, moving towards uh, you know Miss Universe. So it it is a lot. Mm-hmm. It is a lot, and I'm really I'm prepared. Yeah. But at the same time, sometimes it, it gets a little bit. You know, over the top, yeah. but it, it's it's good. It's good so far. Yes. You, you have to follow like a strict regimen. Like in you still have to, like what you, what you eat and yeah. And, and yes, you can't have too much junk food. You have to drink a lot of water. Where you cheat more time? Yes, I do. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she can't get away with it. She's like five foot no. Like I cannot. <laughs> how tall? Are, how, how, how tall? I'm five ten. Five ten. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. And a lot of gym time, as I said, mm-hmm. I have to be in gym every single day. Even Sunday. Doesn't I take I take I take Sunday off. Yeah. yeah, I take that day off. But otherwise, every day. So how like how long is it? Like two hours in the gym. Two right. Hours, two hours. At two least. two hours up to three up max. To three? Mm-hmm. Wow. And it gets intense, more and more intense mm-hmm. each day. Mm-hmm. So. So what was it like though before entering? Like you, what was your drink? Were you, were you always a gym buff? Yes, I I. Well, I didn't go to gym, but I was, I was always a cardio person. Mm-hmm. So I've always been jogging and keeping myself up to shape because I was a model. Mm-hmm. So exercising is nothing new, but it is more intense now because it's a lot of weight training rather than just cardio. Yeah, to just get, yes. keep off of like, <laughs> muscles. Right, it's, muscles. It's, it's a lot harder. Yeah. But it's good. Uh, how, how has the, the reception been personally for you, like? people what people say and uh, uh, what they say to you and they see you i have to be very honest it has only been positive feedbacks mm-hmm. thus far i have not encountered anything negative and i'm really happy about that i think and you're what they wanted <laughs> yeah but that that's that's one of yeah. the 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 most frequent yeah. used uh, feedback from everyone so i'm i'm really grateful and and really just happy about how everyone is taking the win mm-hmm. and i'm just preparing mentally just to go and execute you come from clarendon right you know and everybody always have it to say you know it's like <laughs> brown uptown you know <laughs> girls that usually are the ones Win? to come no to it's it. a change this time <laughs> sure. I like the change. it's a change so this wh- time who was why who was the one to encourage you to say you know Damine, you really can do it too. my best friend mm-hmm. Jermaine dial mm-hmm. he was the person that signed me up behind my back really i was never one of the persons that really wanted to enter pageantry mm-hmm. because i was more on the model side so I wasn't into the interview and smiling all the time and being all poised and posh and everything. So it was more into a model type of girl, you know, being Resting on the back burner. Right, the time, right, right. <laughs> right. That was my that was my thing. But he said, you know, that you know, I had made my foundation, which is Davina Bennett Foundation for the Deaf, mm-hmm. and I needed a platform. And so I think the best way that I could use you know, a platform to get it out there would be something like All Miss right. Universe. And that's how we end up, you know, signing me up and it does allowing me to use this platform just to, uh, you know, send a message across that we're promoting deaf awareness. Right. So you, you I read a little that you, your friend that a model that you know she right. was Brittany Brittany, Brittany Barnes right. so I train her I'm a model I'm her model coach right right. so she, she it was because of that you're unable to communicate with her right and right. To mm-hmm. talk to her I was really just inspired by her because you know I, I've always said this in almost like every interview she strives to follow her dreams even though she's deaf mm-hmm. and she has her complications. So that was really my inspiration. I was like, I want to help others like her, not necessarily models, mm-hmm. but other deaf persons just to create opportunities for them. So How does one become a model coach at 22? 
21. 21, sorry. I've had many experiences in modeling. Uh, I've started young, uh, about like 18 thereabout. Mm. And I've been traveling. I've went to London twice and New York. And when you, when you go abroad, when you go abroad to these agencies, you have to really go into many different agencies if you, you don't get the one that, you know, or someone to say yes. So when I was in London, I would go over to 15 different agencies. I would have to walk, I have to present myself different ways. I, I get turned down multiple times. No, 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 straight across the board. I went to New York. It was the same thing. Mm. I went back to London again. You know, they were saying, oh, third time is a charm. Not so lucky. Mm. And it was just no right across the board. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I didn't call them failures. I used all the setbacks and just to use my experiences to just help the other girls and to groom them for the international market. So that way, when they go abroad, when they go abroad, you know, they have the experiences and they're equipped to know what they're to expect mm. and how they're going to manage themselves. But then the thing is too, because I'm saying like you, I read that you're a post model. Are you you're right. a post model? Yes, I am. So why is it that you went abroad? Like isn't Pulse wouldn't be able to, you're signed with Pulse. Are you you're signed, signed with, with Pulse? With, no? Yes. You're, uh, so oh. you're signed here, but then you want an international platform. So they don't give you that? They you have to you have to go overseas, you know. Oh. To the, yeah, so they would send you overseas. Mm -hmm. So for instance, I would go to London and, and when you like and, yes so you'd have to go to these go sees and yeah. different meetings to meet the different people right <laughs> so you have to go in with your book and yeah. you have to present yourself and ball, everything and has her. to be mm -hmm. on point mm -hmm. but i don't know i really up to this day i don't know what the issue was but what i've just understood is just anything that i believe that i lacked in mm -hmm. or i felt short i just instill all of these in the girls that i train so what is it that you think that you felt sure? Like you, you why? What is it you, you think? Or the hmm. reflection? What is it that I, you, like, you felt probably? Sure I would say probably body wise or the lack of confidence. I was not confident at all. What do you mean body wise? It's very crucial. You know, your body have to be a certain proportion. So you, you, I was I was there, but I don't think I was quite there. You know, like you have I to have a. I can't relate uh, with you. Yeah. I'm a fat girl. Yeah. I was, I was I'm much. A fatty. I was, <laughs> I was much slimmer. Yeah. Yeah. I know it is. You have to have certain stats. So I, I would, guess what you want to say is, everybody <laughs> see that you have big breasts. <laughs> They're, yes, they're and nice. You, are, you have wide hips. You're very shapely. So is that what you're saying? Like you, they but, never want that? No. I, when I was modeling, I was not this size. Okay. I was, you know, I was small. I, I was really small. I was okay. wearing size zero pants, wow. but at the same time, I was still shapely. Mm -hmm. And my hip, which was supposed to be like 34 inches, was probably like 35. And it, it, that's how crucial it Big is. Big difference. But, but yes, yeah. but it the is. Thing is in the can't... modeling world, mm. and I was not as tall. So that was one of my biggest challenges. So at 18, how tall were you? I was about like 5'8". I've grown. I was like, yes. Probably now I can try back. Don't you think? What is your secret? About? Growth. Stretch. Stretch and pray. I prayed. I swear. I prayed for inches. Really? Yes, because that's how badly I wanted it. And then it looked like you look like you make a conscious decision for add more to here. You cannot. Yeah, my hair gives me like two inches. I can tell people like, listen, I'm five eleven. Otherwise, I'm pretty different. Different guy too. Like, me ask her if you give me two two inches. No, but do. But that's the thing. Do you just want it for for just yeah, your own personal thing or you want it to really get it to achieve something because I wanted it for modeling mm -hmm. so you just want it because you just want to be tall yeah awesome. <laughs> but I add, otherwise from the added height mm -hmm. was it was it a conscious decision for you to go the, the hairstyle that the no. people be raving about and so it's I'm, I'm really happy that everyone is taking it style, yeah. taking it well mm. but it wasn't it wasn't through oh I want to be a naturalist though. it was out of frustration mm. I I'd cut my hair last year. Mm -hmm. It was my my grandmother passed last year when I was in London, and I came back. My hair was growing. It was natural. It was getting there. I had really long hair. Yeah, you perm hair before. Yes, man. I had I had hair. long perm hair, but I kept cutting it, cutting it, and I was never really a fan of long hair, and it was growing natural. And I remember the day before her funeral. 
you know, the hairdresser was trying to do something with it. And I was just so frustrated because it was so hard to comb. And I was like, listen, cut it off my head. I was like, what? I was like, cut it off. Just take off everything. Mm. And she just snip, snip. And it was really low. It was like almost bald. Mm. And that was it. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to keep it. And many times... I've it's really frustrating. So you've been tempted to 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 perm it or just because you know and everybody like I've been tempted to it. cut it uh-huh. to have it low cuz when it's lower it's much easier to, to handle maintain, right. and maintain and I've wanted to really you know just cream it back but since the since the pageant yeah. to be very honest everybody's like Davina don't even touch that hair yeah. and it has become one of my greatest greatest mm. access today so the, yeah. the, the, the million along dollar with other things of course <laughs> right mm-hmm. <laughs> for me is like you know Miss Universe mm-hmm. the, the, the overall pageant they have a look right, like we do. can't deny that they mm-hmm. have a kind of look they will have the kind of I guess standard right. that they go for, and you know maybe them saying like the devil is not me say it, people is not me. Can you stop? <laughs> but because I'm just hearing the negativity right now. I'm seeing it already. But you know, so you feel like you're probably going to have to change. No, to go into the international to even board well. No, mm-hmm. no, I, I'm. I don't think I have to, and I don't, and I won't. Mm. I think this is the this is that I don't think this is the look that I'm going to keep, mm. and this is the the look that I'm going forward in the competition. Mm-hmm. With. And I think and, you have and, a better and, chance because and, Donald Trump narrowing it again. So. And to be That's very true. honest, more persons are gravitating to me with the natural hair because yeah. they don't even when I have it slit back mm-hmm. into a, you know the the, the bun mm-hmm. people are saying no bring up back the afro please don't do anything to the hair wear it at Miss Universe it'll definitely be a yeah. standout so for me personally I I don't I don't I don't believe I need to change for the standard mm-hmm. I think I can make a new standard I think the white the, you had on a white bathing suit with right. the, the hair puffed out mm-hmm. That one was like, yeah. Everybody, everybody, a lot of persons, a lot of persons had said to me, Davina, you know, that white outfit was really the one that we say, all right, girl, you're in the forefront. Yeah. (laughs) That was a standout. It's like when you put on the crown, it's like, wait, what happened to me? Because almost (laughs) anyone try catch it up for take to because what it's the it's not that you know, Mm -hmm. but the the crown it's it's hard to go on the fro mm-hmm. and so mentally me to win. M- let me tell you <laughs> mentally you know everybody's preparing for yeah. that crown so yeah. i was like listen put my hair in one so that when the crown the crown is supposed to be able to sit on my head mm-hmm. just in case i win i feel like you could have <laughs> covered the fro like put it on no. embrace the inner africa yeah. and wear it to ear don't wear any bra just let things be free just let things be free <laughs> <man>. <laughs> <laughs> um, I read though you touched on it a little bit um, mm-hmm. how you went into it very nervous about yes. interviews mm-hmm. and yes, I said how, talk, how you overcome that apparently you, you say you, you sought out um, divine intervention how, mm-hmm. how that go I have overcome somewhat mm-hmm. I'm still a bit nervous doing interviews because I know that my team is listening right now just <laughs> Waiting to chastise me later on my little mishaps and everything. So sometimes I am still a bit nervous, Mm. but I'm more confident than I was because I've come a really far away from someone that is introverted and not wanting to speak any at all. So I'm, I think with all the training, I've, I've got training from John Paul Manu, Nadine Rawling, and we're now having Raymond Price, uh, you know, coming on board that will just tighten up the areas. And I think really with all the training, that is mm. really my intervention. To be on, un- to be honest. So God had nothing to do with it. Yeah. On the night when when she was winning, you know. Yeah, that, that was, was all God. <laughs> Trust me, that was all God. The, yeah. the night that was all because I was very very nervous. You think that pageants is a good way to kind of boost um self confidence? Oh yes. And more- oh yes. I think it is because when I was in modeling, I would just model on and I'll 
model off. Mm -hmm. I don't speak to anyone. So there was never a moment where I got to express really mm -hmm. mm. and it's just to take images and so but when people say that you're already called to be able to go because when you're walking you're walking in bikini really, right mm -hmm. to the what um to the to the run throughs or mm -hmm. runways 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 no mm -hmm. but you go to yes you go yes. to mm -hmm. like you have to have confidence though. yes so you have you know, because you know, uh, trust me i can't i can tell you mm -hmm. a lack of confidence does show in your demeanor yeah. so if you're not confident and you don't pro portray to be confident mm -hmm then your performance won't be So you up think to that you gain you gain it in the competition or when you entered? Because you entered, you know, you probably be like, no, and mm -hmm. your friend say, Go, go on. I believe it was through the competition because yeah. even when he signed me up, I still wasn't confident enough to believe that I could represent a brand, I could be able to speak in front of a large crowd. So I was my I was not nervous about the performance part in terms of the modeling because mm -hmm. that's something I would do. But I was more nervous about, you know, speaking and having presentations. And so that was really why I was all, you know, Gentile. not confident, mm -hmm. not confident and hesitant. But it has really been a, a, a really good process. And I've, I can say that I've, I've grown. I really have grown. What was that moment that, that you realize, uh, you, you knew within yourself, so I, I, I have this one, I have this in the back. That you have, on the stage? Yeah. No, I didn't realize. Yeah, no. Even when they called my name, I didn't realize because my reaction when I was there was, I, I was standing with Jane mm. and I believe that I was the person they were announcing for me to get the flowers and leave. So right. So I, I yeah, I was I was <laughs> mentally I was there and I know that Jenny is a very strong contender. Mm -hmm. And funny enough, we had even practiced that very the very thing of standing with each other, you know, backstage before. Mm -hmm. Cause I know that to me, mm -hmm. in my opinion, she was one of the strongest uh contenders on one of my biggest competition. Right. And I was just mentally I was I know I did well, but you know, it, it, it can yeah. go either way. And I was just there and I was like, God, please just let, let this be me. But when they called and say, you know, Jenny Jackson, I was like, hmm, all right. And then it was then when I saw my cousin and everyone jumping, I was like, I covered my face. I was like, Jesus, it's me. Yeah. So I didn't even realize till after I saw the reaction Action. of the crowd. Oh, I wow. didn't know. I was just mentally practicing art. I mean, you're, you're probably coming second. All right. Because for me... <laughs> <laughs> I know it's really yeah. it's, even up to that moment I still wasn't that confident mm -hmm. because I have I know that in previous things aren't really handed to me yeah. I don't really win on a daily basis I am uh, someone I that you, you got robbed uh, yes you, uh, you, this rejection you reject, yes said. I've I've got a lot of rejections I've done you know competitions I've not won and so I've I've it's like I've become used yeah, to I've become used to losing, losing not, winning. <laughs> not winning you know or even not even say losing but not really achieving the ultimate goal mm. so I would normally you know I'll, I'll be the person that comes second mm. then so in my mind Always even the bridesmaid never the bride oh lord yes that's oh that's a good one <laughs> <laughs> no you're so, the bride I am Let's the bride talk about that. <laughs> no, you're the bride <laughs> I'm the bride <laughs> So um the thing is I'm the groom. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Nara is trying so hard. It's so hard. <laughs> so no so you you're working on your, your platform and right. for the deaf. Mm -hmm. Davina Bennett Foundation, Foundation for, for the, the Deaf. deaf. Mm -hmm. like, when you ever work with like Danny Williams, like are they Foundation Danny, I have. funny enough, I'm meeting with Danny Williams tomorrow mm -hmm. where we have a tablet initiative that we're putting in place. To, right, talk to, about the... Yeah. Right, so we have some projects. Uh, we have the tablet initiative, as mentioned, which we are going to select a school and we'll be giving back tablets to the entire school for the children and the curriculum that they have. They do have the same curriculum as persons in the traditional school, mm -hmm. so I believe with technology it can make it a bit easier. Yeah. And we'll be donating books to three schools across the island. Mm -hmm. uh, we are creating a sign language app, which will break the barriers of communication between persons of the hearing counterparts and persons from the deaf society. We just want to create a balance mm -hmm. between 
us and them and just to get everyone equal. And we are also planning on having a 5K, 1K walk run, which is going to be done next year. Mm -hmm. It was originally planned for this year, but because of the pageant and everything, it has been, right. it has been, you know, pushed back to next year. And we have already done some work at the Caribbean Christian Center for the Deaf, mm -hmm. which we repainted a classroom. We repainted the entrance of the school, mm -hmm. did a cleanup. It was like a Labor Day project. And... Uh, we're just aiming to, you know, just come up with more ideas and projects just to incorporate the deaf persons and persons from the hearing counterparts together. So, um, you, you, you I guess, you, is it fluent? You're fluent in sign language? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm learning. Yeah. I'm still in the learning process. I have, mm -hmm. I know the basis, but I'm getting there. Mm -hmm. I'm getting there. I do know I have, I'm going to have to take some courses because I cannot be an ambassador for the deaf. deaf community right. and not be able to communicate fluently mm -hmm. so that is something that is also in the, the bag mm -hmm. and we have also got the same you know Brittany Barnes mm -hmm. we had her working at the mm -hmm. Universal Service Fund during the summer as the first deaf employee so we're doing quite a number of yeah. things and we have quite a number of projects and you know those ideas coming up you go school Yes, I go to you, Eve. Come right here, here. Say, like you do all the important things, like your work. <laughs> I <laughs> I'm a marketing student as well. Okay, okay, right. Yeah, you do a whole lot. Yeah. I do. Sometimes so, I sometimes I have to like, Davina, remember you're 21. Yeah, because you you're a coach <laughs> and you have the, the foundation, right. and you make people like me feel like me not trying to lie. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, my sister, I see age. You, you make it look like she really not trying to. Well, your sister is telling me become a doctor, though. Right? Oh. Yeah. No, listen, that's a whole nother thing. That is thing. true. Yes, yeah, seven years in school. That is true. Can yeah. I compare to her? Yeah. Mm -mm. Salah. No, yeah. All right, I'm sorry. I'm just staring at my hair. I don't know yeah, what's happening. I, I, He's yeah, mesmerized. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, give thanks for passing through, though. We know you're thank busy. Thank you. Thank you for having congrats me. Congrats again. Thank All right. You. Um, tell people where they can follow up with the foundation. All right, the foundation is the Davina Bennett Foundation. That's on Instagram and the Davina Bennett Foundation on Facebook. Mm -hmm. We Our Instagram page for Miss Universe is Miss Universe Jamaica Official. And my personal handle is Davina underscore Bennett underscore. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks All right. again for putting up with my awkwardness. Wait, so you're, 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 you're going to take like a leave off school, right? Like, yes, I have. Yeah. I have for a year. It wouldn't balance yeah. out at all. <laughs> when is when is Miss Universe? First, yeah. It is November 26th. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it has been confirmed to be in the U.S. Las Vegas. Yeah, I was just about to ask that too. Yes, so it is confirmed. So, How oh, confident are you feeling? I am confident. I believe that I have the best team working with. I have Yendi on board that's going to help with, uh, you know, stage presentation. I have the best coaches for speech. I have, you know, Uzuri, which is going to take part in wardrobe yeah. and preparation and everything. So I'm, I'm pretty confident and I know that I'll be ready for November. And how close are you to the other contestants? You know, you're able to call them and ask them. Oh, the you contestants, know, other we, winners. Past winners. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, in, in Jamaican winners. Yeah. Yes, they have reached out and they're planning on coming on board as well. Casey Fennell and so it's, it's, it's quite, I'm, I'm really happy. Yeah. I'm really happy that we have everybody. Also, Sanya Hughes, uh, past Miss Universe is also coming on board to give me a few lessons. Mm -hmm. So everybody is really coming on board and I'm just grateful for the opportunity. I hope you take on the crown. We ask, we say with Casey, we say yeah. this with you too. Hope My you mom picked you by the way to win. Mm -hmm. When she saw it, I said, "Yeah, I like her. She she's going to win." <laughs> I just want to say though, like, cause to be honest, we never watch it because yes. the, the 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 Floyd Mayweather fight. So, mm -hmm. so it's like people like it, when it happened, I was like, "Wait, yeah." <laughs> that that was most of the reaction to that people like it. Past people too, or it's just us. We're not probably just people. yeah. It's just you. Yeah, a lot of people so. watched it. Yeah, man. It's just oh, okay. you. It's just you. All right. <laughs> so, a lot of people were tuning. <laughs> but when I saw you, I, I said, yeah. I'm like, yeah, we should I watch? Yeah. I should I watch? Yeah. They might repeat so you can watch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, people. It's Davina Bennett, Miss Universe Jamaica. It's the fix. We've reached the end of the interview. Or survive, whichever. Or survive. Yeah. All right, so don't forget to subscribe using the logo button over there. And please remember, you can watch all the other interviews over there. Follow us on all social media channels at Nightly Fix. And please remember to give this video a big thumbs 
up. And don't forget to drop a comment telling us to go suck our moms as well. Or call your batty boy. Whichever floats your boat, whichever. Whichever. Yeah. Bye.